everybody, good morning. My name is Arkady Freckman and I'm a New York City personal injury trial attorney. And today I wanted to do a video to talk about a quick client story. So we had this call about, I think September of 2021, a few months ago, last year. And the caller um, was in a lane uh, on a bike and he got hit by a car, an SUV, and he had a pr pretty serious injury. He was in the hospital for three days. He ended up getting two surgeries. And then, you know, we consulted with him. I don't remember the exact details, but I think I got on a call with him and we were discussing the case and this and that. But he ended up going with another law firm. And then yesterday I get an email from him and he says, you know, I went with this other law firm. We talked about the case and they are telling me to settle the case for $25,000 because that is the entire policy of that SUV that hit me. And then I'd like to do a consultation with you. I'd like to talk about the case to see what my options are. Now, given those facts, like a lot of lawyers, especially in my experience, New York lawyers would just ignore that email, right? Because what's in it for them, right? Even if they take the case, they can't get any kind of legal fee because this a uh, client only has 25,000. He's already been offered the 25,000. So that's it, it's a done deal. And, you know, probably there's no other insurance. The only way that he possibly could recover more is if his policy was greater, right? If he has an automobile in his household that let's say is 100,000, then after he gets the 25 from the defendant, he can get the difference from his own policy, the 75. But probably that's not the case because then he wouldn't be settling for the 25, right? His lawyer, I'm assuming, I don't know who it is. I'm assuming it's a competent lawyer. And, the, you know, so, that, so that's probably not an issue. But the point of this video was that I, you know, emailed him right back and I said, yes, I'd be happy to chat with you. Give me a call. Here's my cell phone number. You know, text me, call me. Because my goal isn't just about making money, right? I mean, everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to have a successful uh, financial business. But my goal is truly to help serious injury victims and their families. So I'd like to speak with him and I'd like to see if I can help him. And if I can help him, I will. And if I can maybe even refer him to another lawyer or somebody else that can help him, you know, I will. And so I think that's, that's an important point in today's day and age that, you know, if you have the time, if you have the willingness then you really should. In fact, you know, I'll be honest, like I got the email yesterday and at first I was like, you know, I'll, I'll get back to him, but I kind of put it on the back burner. I thought, you know, obviously I was supposed to have a court deposition today and I thought it's not really a high priority. And then this morning I was just like working out in the gym, you know, and I was just like, I don't know, it just came to mind, remembered him. And I thought, you know what? That's probably not the right thing to do. The right thing to do is probably to, to call him. So I called him, you know, left him a message. I texted him like 7.30 in the morning today. And I look forward to hear back from him. And I think I'd be able to help him because ultimately, you know, as lawyers, we're supposed to be a guide for a client. And whether it's my client or whether it's someone else's client, I want to be that resource. I want to help people. And in the same way, you know, we get a lot of uh, comments from viewers about their cases, asking like, what is this case worth? Or can you help me with this situation? And it might be all over Georgia, Florida, California, Texas, um, South Carolina, all over. And you know, many times what we do is we, we, we hear them out and I only give them the information that I know to be true. Like if I don't know something, I'll just say, you know, it's better to consult with a local lawyer. And if I know a local lawyer who is good, I'll recommend one, you know, if they're not happy with their lawyer, because my goal is not to take cases from other lawyers. My goal is just to help serious injury victims and families. So if another lawyer can do it and another lawyer is doing it, you know, that's, that's great. Let them continue. But if someone has a serious case and they feel like a lawyer is making them take a small amount or a lawyer is not calling them back, not communicating with them, then we're here, we could definitely help. And if we could add value, that's the key thing. If we could add value for the client, then we will get involved. But if we cannot add value, then it just doesn't make sense to get involved. You know, and, I, and I'd rather just give the case back to the original lawyer. So I think that's important. I think it's important to be honest and to be vulnerable sometimes. Everyone makes mistakes. And I think, um, you know, you have to really look at the case and, review it from all angles and think what is 
the truth of this case. What is the raw truth? Be brutally honest. And if you can prove the case, you know, go ahead and take it to trial or settle it for the top number. If you can't prove the case, or if you have some kind of issue with the case, or if the case has like this impediment here, like where it's only 25 policy, then you can go to court, you might be able to get 2 million, right? And an injury like that. But then where are you gonna get the money? If the person has a 25 policy, they have no assets. So it's just a paper judgment. You're just wasting your time, spinning your wheels. So be honest and you know make those decisions uh, from, a, from a place of honesty and a place of vulnerability. But I think that's an important lesson, you know, also just the fact that, you know, lawyers should try to communicate with clients and call them back. And um, it's not about whether the lawyer is going to make a buck or not. It's really about doing the right thing. So I hope this has been helpful. Let us know what you think and um, have a great day. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone.